Welcome to part four in developing our Discord crypto bot. Uh, in the previous video, we uh, added the functionality of sending trading signals to our Discord server. Uh, in this video, we will be sending uh, trading charts to that same server. Uh, that being said, we will uh, run the bot and then I will show how it works and then I will um, explain how the code works. So first we are running our code. Uh, if you get if you get this message, uh, this means that it is working. Uh, we are using the light bulb API to communicate with uh, Discord. Uh, it is part of the Kikari API. Um, now that 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 is running, you can see the green light. Um, that usually means that the bot is on the server and that it the code that you have is working. So. Now we will look at our uh, charts. So we'll do the uh, forward slash command show chart. Then we will select the training pair that we would like to see. Uh, let's look at Bitcoin USD. And this should spit out a, uh, a simple uh, chart, candlestick chart of that training pair. Uh, as you can see, we have the price on the y-axis and the time on the x-axis. Uh, this is the standard uh, universal time uh, off, off of the Coinbase Pro exchange, and this is all data that I got using the Coinbase Pro API. Uh, now that you can see how the bot is working, I will go back to the code and explain how that works. So let's, um, we'll close. We'll turn that off and then we'll focus on what the code is saying. So here we have our uh, the the new method that we added in main. The we start off with the name of the method called show chart, and then we add the the, the decorator uh, or a light bulb decorator uh, slash command. This will uh, tell the uh, light bulb. API that this is a slash command uh, from from the user uh, and then it will trigger uh, this method um, after that we add the light bulb command uh, show chart this is what the name of the command will be and then we'll have the message uh, show the most recent price chart for selected crypto pair um, it's just what the the uh, message uh, for the user will be um, after that, we have a option, a second choice, uh, or a, a choice that the user can make. Uh, after selecting the uh, the the command, so uh, the user will see the the uh, trading pair pair option, and then the prompt will say, "Select the trading pair that you want to see," and then it will store it as a type variable of string. After that, we uh, go back to our main method and it will call the uh, trade charts in our coin class over here. Uh, and, and it will send the uh, trading pair option that the user selected uh, to that same coin class. So now that we are here in our coin class, uh, it will call this method trade charts with our trading pair right here. Uh, and then it will get our historical data from uh, Coinbase Pro API uh, based on the trading pair that the user uh, selected. Um, after that, it will take that data and it will format it into a candlestick chart uh, using the Plotly Go library. Uh, as you can see here, this is where we will import the Plotly Go uh, uh, library. And uh, here we have our our closing price, our low price, our high price, our open price, and we even have our time period as well. After that, we will update the layout and add a title to the uh, to the to the chart, and then we will save the uh, chart in the charts folder here as a PNG file with the name of the trading pair as the name of the file so we go to our bitcoin chart uh as you can see this is what the chart would look like um and then 
now that that that, that is finished uh, after that method is finished we, we go back to our uh, show charts uh, method in our main file uh, up here and it will then open our um, charts folder and it will uh, now that 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 is open it will basically it will call the Hikari library and it will save the uh, file in um, in this in this variable called called f and then it will respond back to the uh, server with this Hikari uh, file right and and as you can see uh, the the output will look like this uh, based on what the user has has inputted. Uh, that being said, uh, this is uh, not financial advice; it's just a, a tutorial on um, adding a, a Discord bot to your crypto server and allowing it to show uh, trading charts uh, for people to use. Uh, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.